Hi and welcome to RetroEric. Today I'm going to talk about my ThinkPad T22 and uh, its uh, sound capabilities. It has uh, two sound chips and one of them um, has Sound Blaster compatibility. So today we're going to try out uh, how good the Sound Blaster compatibility is um, and uh, how does it sound? Uh, does it have ad -lib support or any other things we should know? To do this, I'm using the old drivers uh, because the new drivers uh, doesn't have support for uh, DOS gaming. Uh, and, but the new drivers, they have uh, DirectX 8, uh, which the older ones only have uh, DirectX 7. To try this, I'm going to play uh, Doom 2 with AdLib, Sound Blaster and General MIDI. Yeah, I'm going to do this from Windows and later on from DOS. terrible. Let's try the sound blaster. Uh, it will probably uh, be the same but let's listen. was also terrible. Uh, some of the instruments was totally off. Uh, finally we'll try general MIDI. This option is only available when you run the DOS games from Windows. <laughs> General MIDI was uh, actually quite playable. Let's uh, try out Monkey Island with the parameter A for AdLib.
not too bad. Uh, some of the instruments were off and it was playing too fast. Well, the speed was correct, but the um, instrument uh, did not sound like MT32. But uh, yeah, what do you prefer? The AdLib or the MT32 emulation? Now I'm going to restart the machine into DOS. Uh, I'm using uh, the PIF file from Phil's computer lab. I've uh, just made a couple of modifications. One is uh, for the sound blaster and the second is to just start for DOS every time I enter DOS. As you can see I uh, have set some color parameters for for DOS. Uh, yeah, I like, like to, uh, to use it like that. This is uh, quite a fast machine. It's uh, Pentium 3, uh, 900 megahertz. And uh, that's the reason I wanted to try this out because on the ThinkWiki it said uh, that it supported Sound Blaster. And uh, well, after trying it, uh, I'm not convinced that I'm going to use this machine for DOS games. But uh, yeah, let's uh, take uh, one more test uh, from DOS and see if the sound quality in uh, Doom is uh, different from playing it from Windows. So we're just going to try the AdLib. say the sound uh, was uh, the same uh, as in Windows. CVC DOS is the driver uh, you have to run. I had it in my auto exec batch file. It can take several parameters but the slash p which is the default parameter uh, when you install the drivers it's the best. Uh, the other two parameters usually uh, just makes it worse. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
last out was Planet X3. The menu music was uh, not good, uh, at least one of the instruments were totally off. The in-game music was a lot better. Thank you for watching Retro Eric. If you like my videos, please to subscribe to my channel.